Excuse me! Oh my gosh, it's my favorite song. Oh, I completely forgot we were learning about physics today. Yeah. Being outside, we are experiencing the world of physics firsthand. Wait, what is physics? It is a branch of science that involves the study of the physical world. Energy, matter, and how they are related. Oh, well, when I was looking into colleges, they said I had to take physics to become a doctor. Oh, well, I'll introduce you to the basics if that helps. I know the basics. Don't we always start with the scientific method? Um, yeah, and your attitude needs to go. We will obtain data, make predictions, and create explanations. That are, those are the basics for the scientific method. But, um, but, um, that's all minor. What's specific to physics? And what is a parallax? Do you mean a parallax? Please, talk proper English. And it is an apparent <laughs> shift in the position of an object when it is viewed from different angles. Now, look at us driving this car. Wait. Idiot, get off the street! Who walks in the middle of the street? Why don't you beep so they can uh, freaking hear yeah, you? Okay, anyways, this car. Okay, so we are looking at a first-hand physics situation. First, we have our position, which is our separation from the origin, which is my house. Oh, doesn't that create our distance? You're very the length concerned. from the origin? That's correct. Do you know what a vector is? Yeah. It, that's a quantity with magnitude and direction. Scalars are just numbers in no direction. Wow, you are so smart. Seriously, you're so smart. Thanks. Now, we also have displacement, which is the change in position. Now, to talk about all this vocabulary, we are leading up to something. We are talking, now we are going to talk about velocity. That is a change in position over time, right? You, you're just so smart. I just wish I was just like you. Yeah, I know. Yes, Who doesn't? And now we are traveling at a constant velocity. Do you know what that means? No, you don't. It means we're at a constant <laughs> acceleration. I mean, that means that we have no acceleration. Well, you're stupid because you just said it wrong. And isn't gravity an acceleration? Yes, gravity is an acceleration. Now, what do you know about scientific laws? Hmm, I can't think of anything. Well, let me start you off. Let's start with Newton's first law. It says that an object tends to stay at rest if it if it starts at rest, and an object stays in motion unless it is unbound unless an unbalanced force stops it. Like friction? Yes. How do you remember now? Do you remember any other laws? Uh, Newton's second law: force equals mass, time acceleration, and the third law: for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. <sighs> You're just genius. Now let's Thanks. discuss forces. I know about friction and normal force. Um, you know what? Just enough of this talk. I'm honestly just starving after talking about all this physics. What do you say we go and get a Newton? Newton! Newton! I just want you guys to see a Model A student. <laughs> Time to go get our Newton! Peace! <laughs>